What is going on, everybody? Alpha Rebo back with some more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Now, I know it's a lot different from my normal schedule, but we're changing things up. I have a ton of free time now, if you haven't heard the update in the previous episodes. But, we're going to be continuing where we left off. We last left off, we just exited the wall here. We're going around and finishing up a lot of the puzzles, side quests, and all kinds of other stuff. We had just finished getting the last of the shrines activated, giving us our last overbuff for the world. And giving us our 10% boost in wisdom. So we're going to continue today. We're getting our boost to strength, dexterity, intelligence, and constitution. Now, we have a lot of things to do still. Like, uh, let's see here. All right. So lost marbles. We still have 20 lost marbles to find. And we have half of the rune switches done. We're going to try and finish all the rune switches today. That's hopefully the goal. Uh, we are nowhere near done on the poetry pages, and we're almost done with all the ancient obelisks. Because we finish all the obelisks, we get 10% boost to constitution, giving us more health and shield. So we're going to start things off today by going off to a fun little side area. Now, I thoroughly enjoy this side quest we got here. Ah, just bandits. The side quest itself is actually very interesting. We've got the crack mast. That's not where I want to go. Where are you? Oh my god, where is this area? As much as I was avoiding it earlier, now I can't find it. I want to say it's up here. Let's turn that off. Since we are a part curse. Yeah, that's right. It's up here. Let me just run around. Here we are. Oh, wait. That's not it either. Am I dumb? Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. There we are. Sunfang Oasis. Now, this map, really interesting. It's got a pretty interesting side quest. And you find the Coiled Goddess here. So, we're going to go on, take her out. Because you find out she's evil. Because why wouldn't she be? Primordial Rompy Pompy. That's interesting. So it's a good thing we're actually getting primordial items in the shops now. And that's very. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> we get primordial stuff on a 37% chance now. <laughs> that's on me. Uh, we also have a very slim chance of getting Ascendant gear. That's going to be cool as well if we get our hands on something that of that level. Let's see. Anything that I have right now is going to possibly be sold off because it is getting very underleveled very fast. I'm keeping both of these just because this one is the fire one, so it's got element. And this one's going to be great if I do ever get my hands on that uh, Corrupted Plate Mail. Yeah, we also got the Antique Great Bow. Great item for getting cash if you can get reliable drops on it. Let's see, 
I think we also picked up something that's giving us, yeah, a big boost to our loot luck. Which means I don't need one of these anymore. I just can't remember which one it is. You give me status damage. I don't need you, like, at all. You're level 27 at that. You're giving me frost damage. Oh, you're just worthless. I know I had something that was giving me something really good. It's bonus lightning damage. There you are. 58.8% status damage. This thing is so powerful. We're going to keep it just because of how strong it actually is. And it does absolutely nothing for my actual class abilities. Like it's giving me Spore Warden power, but I'm not a Spore Warden at all. I'm just keeping that thing because of how strong it is. So that keeps me Pandemicium. Our Inflammation, our Rain Bolt. Rain Bolt's actually really good. What am I currently using? I'm using a Twister. I think I'm going to switch that out for Rainbow. Oh, wait, no. Saw Blades. Saw Blades are going to be really good. Twister's going to stick around. I'm going to keep my Calamity. Threads of Fate, while it's fun, it's not really doing the damage that I need it to. And the Laser Hand can finally go. No All right. Now then, sell off my junk, and let's move on. Alright, so two armed guards near a, I guess, tomb. With blue flames near it. We're gonna open it. It's the ditcher. Salissa, the evil coiled water goddess. Now her foulness will corrupt the local desert coils, turning them into bloodthirsty thralls. See, here they come. I'll be back in a second. You coward. Oh, that's right. Coiled are, for whatever reason, very resistant to poison damage. But they are extremely weak to fire damage. Oh, come on. Oh, really? All right, die. Come here. No one gets rid of me that easy. We have to clean up your mess. Solicitor condemns the coil's perpetual rage and fury. Or worse, decides to drown the entire world. Let's see, since they're going to be resistant to, to poison damage, which is a big bulk of what I do here, I'm going to. Did I get rid of my live wire? I think I might have. Wait, nope, there it is. I'm going to throw on the live wire and see how well this works for us, even though, let's see, 859. It's a lot weaker in terms of elemental damage. But we should get some pretty interesting procs off of it. Let's see. Well, 
I'm using lightning proc. What even is this? It looks like it's a maybe a ruby spike. So we'll come back and look at that. I also need to take a look at what ward I am currently wearing because it might be under leveled by a lot. Oh, it's a primordial undead pack. It's got crap for capacity. Don't want to throw in a bad egg instead. Get a little more movement speed out of it at least. And I really want to see if this anchor launcher is going to be good. If it's going to be good, then I can kind of see me going to hunt for a better version of it. But if it's not going to do any good damage, I'm not going to keep it around. Oh, it is a ruby spite, and it's volatile. It's not better than the gluttony, and after getting a, a spell kill, it increased the damage of my next critical hit by 50%. And bolts do increase melee damage, so it's not really that great. It's going to sell for a decent amount of money, though. You know, there's actually a prophecy about all this. It says the first seal will be broken by a bumbling right, fool. Uh, let's grab this launcher. That's you, by the way. I'm getting the sense this guy isn't very nice. Nope, he is not. So what's got cranky? Pants all cranky anyway. Uh, some people are just me. Okay, it's doing some pretty average status damage. Definitely got to get used to shooting the thing, though. So it makes a decent spirit swarm, but not, you know, not going to be as good as a cannonball there here. Now, if I can get a fire cannonball there, that would be amazing. What do we got here? Head of the snake with stable blight caller primordial. I know, right? Well, does that give me contagion? I don't think so. But it will give me a lot of exploit their weakness. And what else? So I can exploit their weakness and Verluins. But I lose out on three points of contagion. We're going to put it on and see how it works. And that looks good on us. That looks good. We no longer look like we're fresh out of bed. Yeah, it is like pretty interesting. It was a pretty interesting launcher. Like shooting a big anchor at someone is funny.
but if you don't know how to aim the thing, it's not going to hit your target. And the same can be said here for the cannonballer. It is highly affected by gravity, and as you can see, the projectiles bounce. So if you're not like dead on with your hit or like aiming slightly above your target, it's gonna miss. And now you have a rogue launcher shot bouncing around the map that you kind of have to worry about running back into you. And if it does, you know, you're gonna take a lot of damage there. But you fire it into a room full of enemies, it's bound to hit something. Oh wait, that's right, you're resistant to poison damage. Alright, we gotta put on a different spell. These coils suck, they resist the biggest form of damage I can do. So we'll throw on the Sunder. It's gonna be just a little weaker than the inflammation, but I get a guaranteed spirit swarm out of it and it hits multiple people. And it has better range. At least Tina's honest about it. And she's right. Some people just got issues. Interesting. We'll pick it up. Sunder spells seem to be going pretty good for us right now, especially when we go to the Chaos Chamber. I want to say there's another chest to open over here. Haha, -ha, I was right. What are you? Junk. That's what you are. Junk. I was gonna say, there's no way I land that. Oh, but it still hit something and I get the spirit swarm for it, so these guys are all dead.
three SMGs equipped. That's, oh, not three, I have two. Let's change that up. I got a pistol, I don't have a shotgun. Absolutely toasted. So I say, no, 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 my own dagger storm will not kill me. years of training. Maybe I misjudged you. Maybe, but probably not. Watch yourself. The coil here will likely also be hostile because of what you did earlier with the chest. Well, it wouldn't be a problem if you were as good a fighter as I am. Nah. <laughs> that is the one thing about this whole side quest is you have to listen to him pretty much insult you the entire time and he sucks he does not help you whatsoever he's just here to antagonize you and get on your nerves know why you ran from it. Found the ice tomb. But what am I supposed to do with these arms? Oh, I forgot that you're an illiterate child who doesn't understand the prophecy. Bury the hearts, you sick of them. Honestly, how did you manage to cause so much damage while knowing so little about it? acquire the battle standards of the elder coiled vizios for they are the direct blood descendants of the first vizios who imprisoned Silica many years ago now it's really messed up and interesting that we're kind of eliminating innocent people who just want to keep an evil deity locked away so we can free her and kill her. Well, attempt to kill her, but we're gonna kill her. Got here, Max a rune of growth. Increase companion damage. I'll try using it to see if I get a better damage output on the spirit swarm. The highest one I've seen so far is 242k. So let's see. killed the uh, Vizier of Fire with a fire weapon. That should be pretty disappointing for her. Can't get 
fire was my whole thing, I would feel so bad if I got killed by fire. I really don't need to do anything. I can just stand around and let them all die. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's a corrupted plate mail, but it's Stabomancer and Clawbringer. This game's taunting me now. Two fifty nine, that's actually higher. So I'm wondering if the master rune is helping that. Ooh, bread luck with forty point eight percent loot luck. And it's got a lot of elemental damage on it. That's gonna be good for farming. That's gonna be very good for farming. I'm gonna take that to the chance actually for a better cannonballer. And possibly a really good sword explosion, actually. Place the standards so they interrupt the primary ley lines, leaving the ice tombs in channel. is prime. Now shatter it and freeze the missile's physical form. So this is form will now begin reconstituting the throne room. Next we must free her mind. I have tracked you to the shrine of the goddesses. So go there. And I'd join you, but I've got, like, a lot going on right now, you know. Slaying monsters, collecting the agents, bedding women, slaying more monsters, you get it. I would run if I were you. Earthquake! It's so easy to kill people with this build. stuff to sell mm, let's 
go ahead and just throw bomb totems back up. Really? Step into your grave. Okay. How you're not dead, I don't know. Oh, I think I got the kill as I was dying. Swine of the gods. Once more, the traitor is risen. Here, the four elemental locks are united in keeping the mind of the wicked Sarissa imprisoned with that statue. Could you, uh, stop them from doing that? Surely he jests. Solicit imprisonment should succeed in Crossrock. How dare you? Joke about such things. Now that you have pleaded your time. Then please, you too, Baron Hester. I have the need of your help. Oh, yeah. Uh, finally. The prophecy says your next task is taking a leap of faith into the darkness. Even you couldn't mess that up, right? Peon Eruption No No That is a spirit Goddess of Sorrow She is known as the Judge I command you to shut her up Your friend, her weapon And her power It would seem you While she remains in the night sky, ah, Hesperia, daughter of sorrow, hear your proclaimer of black. It would seem you must have blown your consciousness from the void and brought her to this hell of death to die. Wicked Salissa, goddess of water. Wielder of the legendary Bident, Tide Sorrow. After Asperia passed judgment upon Salissa, she formed an alliance with Hephaestia and Tibitha.
to grant a share of their power to the first viziers who shattered Selissa and imprisoned her mind in this very shrine. All right, so now we have all of the lore. to elemental hell. So one by one, we bring back the spirits of the four heroes. Well, three heroes and one villain. Oh, I'm so sorry, curator. You're so adorable. So if I was just to grab her by her tail, would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, this game, no, it's not PvP. Although you can duel other players if you have them in your lobby. But it's not a full-on PvP game. Also, Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue, welcome to board, welcome to the ship. Yes, it is a solo game. Well, no, not a solo game. Uh, you can play with up to four players. 
So Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is another adaption of the Borderlands series itself. This one takes place pretty much in the mind of Tiny Tina, one of the beloved characters of Borderlands 2. You're playing essentially D&D &D here. Like, your character, or Fate Maker as it's called, is running through her campaign, doing side quests, all kinds of other stuff. And in the process, you find out that Tina had to overcome some pretty serious trauma. And this is her way of coping with it, which is pretty common for a lot of people out there. Uh, coping th from traumatic experiences through games and stuff like that. Yeah, this all takes place before the events of Borderlands 3. Yeah, the graphics are amazing in this game. <coughs> Uh, yes, so unlike the Borderlands series, in place of your grenades, you get all kinds of different magic spells that you can use instead. Like, for example, I'm using a Jacketed Sunder. So instead of actually throwing a grenade, I throw a fissure through the ground that deals damage to everything that it hits. There's a ton of different spells that you can do. There are spells that summon companions for you to fight by your side. Uh... Spells that buff you to make you more damage resistant and all kinds of stuff. Uh, my favorite spell is actually the Calamity spells, which I keep one on hand, and this being it, the Umbral... Oh, wait, no. Is this the Extinction Calamity? I don't think it is. Ah, uh, yes. It is an Extinction Calamity. It has two charges. Awesome. Um... Oh yeah, it is on sale on Steam right now, and I would highly recommend it. It is worth the buy. It's a great story. It's definitely grindy at first, but as you get more and more used to the game, you get better at doing all kinds of stuff, and the multi-classing feature really plays into a lot of stuff. Ooh, hello. Are you better than my gluttony? You're not, but I'm going to use you anyway because I need some decent frost damage against all this stuff right now. Yeah, back to that spell. Uh, my favorite spell is this. I'm going to drop a gigantic meteor on this coiled impaler right here, so just big rock. One of my favorite things to do is just drop big rock on my enemy. Alright, so frost damage, not the way to go here. Back to fire. Oh, but why are you not dying? Die! Okay, so we're gonna throw our sunder back on and possibly sell that pistol we just picked up. It'll be useful later, somewhere else. More than likely. But as of right now, fire damage is still our best friend. Thank you for the follow as well, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue. Right, let's go ahead and spin that myth rank point. I'm gonna throw that into, do I have anything else to throw it in here? Lightning damage. So, I wanna max my lightning damage, and I'll actually have just about everything here maxed. Uh, might max my companion damage here as well. Then everything's just going to get thrown into ability damage. Once I max out all the 
skills that have actual caps to them, everything's just going to go into the uncapped skill, which for Blade Master, you get extra melee damage. Arc Mage, you get more spell damage. Deadeye gives you more gun damage, which is really good. I wish it was status damage instead. And Druid gives me more ability damage. Which, if I'm not mistaken, my Spirit Swarm counts as ability damage. Let me check. A Spirit Swarm companion that will seek out and damage nearby enemies, dealing status damage to the apply of the applied status damage type. While Spirit Swarm is active, its duration is partially restored after applying a status effect. Applying a stronger status effect really fully refreshes the duration. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it just deals status damage not ability damage, but I know I have something that's functioning off of my ability damage. Eh, whatever. Wait, no, I think that might be my bog totems. Yep. My bog totems get boosted by ability damage. Quit talking and let me in. Also, I need to see where the heck the rune switch puzzle is here. I know there's one on this map. I just have to find it. Could be somewhere around this area. Or somewhere around here. But once I get my hands on that, I will hopefully be completely done with this area. So we have a ancient obelisk to do here. That's great. We got two lost marbles, two poetry pages, and a rune switch. That was terrible. Definitely now the lost marbles and poetry pages are going to be the hardest things to find. So those are going to be things that might end up getting done slightly off camera. You don't. Oh, you got one of the lost marbles. That brings us to five out of the twenty-four of those that we're gonna need. Oh, you jerk! Mm. Time to fight, <laughs> I timed that so poorly. It's such a small window that I have to jump in there. Come on. Oh, wait, no, that still counts. Give me my garbage loot. <laughs> I did all that, the loot sucks. It really does. All right, let's get out of here. Get wrecked by orb. Oh, not the 
reload. Oh, I'm still at multi ball. I'm wondering why I missed. That's what you need to worry, worry about. Random barrels being activated. Goodbye, my dude. If you thirsty, go have some water. He knows he's being called out for being useless because he is. By the way, it's very, very cursed. Pretty sure I mentioned that. Anyway, I'll meet you back at Sarissa's eternal wellspring. Don't delay. Now that Sarissa's three aspects have been released, she will begin reconstituting within her primordial essence of creation. Once we bring the Biden to the location of the shattering ritual, we will resurrect her. I guess I'll give you the honor of fighting beside me, but hear me when I say this. Do not get in my way. Oh, that's such a good one. Come on, wreck. Ooh, that was another good one. Let's get combo stone. Oh, hey, and we got the revive. What is this? Companion damage, pistol reload, assault rifle reload. Eh. Now, let's see about finding that ancient obelisk. It's around here somewhere. I want to say it's this way so we're gonna deviate just slightly and we're gonna run over here see if we can't find our obelisk challenge and if we're also lucky we'll find the rune switch while we're at it here do some adventuring. Possibly be getting more damage out. Oh, that's not it. 
have something on that's giving me uh, something weird. What is it? Where is it? I know I put on something odd that's giving me companion damage. Ah, it's the master room. That's what it is. We're gonna throw on the bad egg back on. I know that's spell cast melee. That's not good. Actual so active increase elements. See. We'll throw this on. It's such a bad ward, though. Mostly because it breaks so easy. Man, it makes me such a glass cannon. But we got the obelisk done. Now to find that rune switch. Then we can take on Celissa and get the heck out of here. Thumbsbane, non-elemental though. Nothing non-elemental, what do we got here? Ah, Spectre Talons. In my opinion, the worst of all of the spells. Where am I? Because <laughs> that'll help me determine where I need to go. So I've been pretty much around this entire area. I just haven't been in here, which I believe I'm going to be headed in this location when I defeat Salissa? I don't know. Let's go, Let's go beat her first. We'll beat Talissa into the ground, then we'll come back and look around for that ring switch. Because nothing here can stop me. Uh, you know what? Uh, resistant or not, I think the White Rider might be my best option. So I throw it on over my cannonballer. Most because I have the gluttony here for dark magic. Also be very happy when I don't have to fight Coiled anymore. This resistance to poison damage is really harmful to me. We got a world drop. What is this world drop? War Warden, Fire Damage, Status Chance, and Gun Mag. That's cash. Speaking of which, I should mark anything I'm selling for cash. Oops, it's better or worse than what I'm currently wearing. Fire damage, spore ward, well, light caller power, loot luck, status damage over lightning damage, light caller power, and yeah, you're gone. So, sell that. I'm 
gonna hold on to this just because it gives me all of that points to contagion. And we have some redeems in chat. One second, we've got a hydrate posture check and a stretch. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of those. Thank you for the care package, Metal Raptor Mom. Our hydration of the day is some cherry limeade flavored water. It's pretty good, actually. All right, other things that need to be sold. I want to try using this quick sunder. It's probably not going to be as good as the fire one that I have, but it's dark magic. And I want to see how it works. We'll throw this on. Are you ready to bear witness to the greatest monster slayer of all time at the top of his game? Me, I mean. Place the Vidant into the pedestal and prepare yourself. My guy, you're going to die horribly. Hear me, wicked Salissa. It is I, the undefeated monster slayer, Garrett of Trivia. Hear my name well, or it will be the last thing you hear. I stand ready to prove to the world that even a goddess can bleed. Wow, you're really as sneaky as we hoped. <laughs> now die, fool! I am your doom. I am your end. And when you are slain, all Rip. <laughs> Don't worry, though, guy. I'll pick up the slack. As the evil goddess is once again shattered by our suit's mighty hand, her bident clanky clang. One hundred percent wrecked. Good God, she couldn't even go to her immunity phase. All right, Moxie, you've got to let me in Damage Nation for that. That was insanity. Wait, are we doing stuff with this cursed Bident thing? I don't like that. Nah, she didn't get it. That is, she don't care about keeping Salissa from getting all her big bad powers back and driving the world around. Not particularly, no. <laughs> if you do you, baby. Now, descend to the Eternal Wellspring, so I say, to meet your adorable. Just literally destroyed her. Thank you for ridding us of the corrupting influence of Salissa. Many of our sisters will still be in an unbridled fury, but some of us have been saved by fate. Thanks to you. You have our gratitude. All right, so that takes care of the main section of the side quest here. So now it's just down to finding that rune switch puzzle. And then I'm out of here, like 100% out of here. Uh, where could it be is the question. I 
I'm guessing it's over here. Like, I'm strongly guessing it's around here. So, I'm going to go and take a look over there. Of course I'm not going the right way. Although I know it's a little, a little off, but uh, Super Saiyan, uh, what was it? Uh, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, did you want to shout out? I'd gladly be willing to give you one of those. Did you want to shout out, my friend? <laughs> my God, he was he was resistant to fire damage, and that still murdered him. Oh, I can't wait to test this on Son of a Witch. Alright, I'm just gonna put down a marker because I'm getting turned around left and right. Wait, point. Okay, now that I'm not getting lost every freaking five seconds. Oh, hello. Give me that. I never fear Cyclops while drinking. I think we were both quite in error. You take a peek over here, uh, unless you're busy, which are completely unfair. Uh, I need I to get in there, so I'm helping you. <laughs> Please hurry, but don't don't rush. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Problem solved. Oh, what? What killed me? Literally, what killed me? <laughs> I've got to get a better ward. This thing sucks. It just, it breaks. Like friggin' toilet paper. I'm I'm putting on my other ward. I can't do this. I can just enchant the master rune here when I get back to freaking bright hoof. Uh, I can no longer take getting one shot by just the breath of air. Give old Sully a tuck. 
Yoink. I gotta hold it. See, can I make this jump? Hell no. And that's instant death. Got it. I thought that was just gonna be spicy water, like back at the uh, drill. No, that's just death. Far from spicy water, just void water. Okay. I'm trying to remember this side quest. I know I did it on one character. This could have been freaking years ago. Oh, I talked to you. Let me follow Sully. I don't know where I'm going. Go, come on, fat ass. Go. I absolutely would have died down here multiple times without you. Good thing we met today, eh? Oh, road drop. What will it be? Oh god, not one of you. Go away, go away, go away. It's a another saw blade, primordial. Grab it. It will be useful somewhere not on this map. So the moment we take this crown, we gotta book it. So three, two, one, we out. Big cut, we save some time there.
What the hell? Sully. Sully. Come on. Come on, Sully. Res me. Sully, you suck. I really do hope that that's a feature that comes back in Borderlands 4. Being having NPCs be able to pick you up while you're in fight for your life is going to be really nice. Okay, so that's done, and I didn't even find what I was looking for here. What ring did I end up getting from this? Uh, it's probably useless. Same with this ring and the staff. Alright, what are you? Critical hits. Increase non-critical hit damage. Worthless. That's what it is. Worthless. I need to find a shop, then I am still looking around for my rune switch puzzle. Not where I thought it was going to be. Which is odd. Which means I've possibly run past it already. sticking around to deal with you. Alright. I'm running in circles. So I'm just making my way right back up to Celissa's chamber. This is exactly where I was going. My rune switch puzzle which would be I'm gonna go here. It's possibly down in this direction. Oh my god, I can still see damage numbers from way over here. I really don't know where this is, but you know what? Uh, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go back to Bright Hoof, and we'll come back. I need to sell off items, then buy some upgrades.
We're gonna do full on backpack space because I've only bought two. And I wanna see how many I can get. Alright, so just about all of them. So we have a ton of back space, backpack space now. Yeah, 64 slots. And where is my master rune? I am enchanting that right now. Well then, that was easy. Yeah, right. So, now I can show off a fun feature that exists here in this game. If you, for whatever reason, have to come back to Bright Hoof to do whatever you were doing or whatever you needed to do and you want to go right back to where you left off because you're probably in the middle of something or you needed to go in as I just did sell off items and buy weapon slot upgrades or storage upgrades if you come back here to the docks and head to this little portal it will take you directly back to the map that you were previously in before returning to Bright Hoof And now I have returned with a lot of backpack space. Zooming mm, right on your face. You want some of this too? Hey, there's a world drop. And another world drop. Give me another one. Oh. Come on, give me another one. Alright, we're only gonna get two. Well, let's see what we got here. Drunk training, poison damage, berserker power, not for us. And another ward. Shanghai blasting. Probably be pretty good, but I like my master room better got pretty decent capacity as we can see here hey there's my third one Here, it's Black Guards, Harbinger, Frost Damage, Sablemancer. Hey, we got something else to go along with it. All right, Frost Damage, Sablemancer Power, Dark Magic Efficiency, and Shield Capacity. Interesting, but I'm gonna sell it. And we've got a. Volatile Arcane Bolt. Eh. Not really that great, though. Very high damage, but we don't really care about damage as far as our status damage. It can be the weakest gun in the game, but if it has very high status damage, it's going to be overpowered in this build setup. And we have a Mithrink point to spend. We're going to throw that right here into fire damage. And we're going to continue to look for this rune switch puzzle because it is vexing me on where it could be.
Uh, we had a drop back here. What is this? It's a wailing banshee. Come back this way. We're gonna look around the level eight. In here, nothing. All right, y'all. I know that puzzle is around here. It's got to be around here. I'm gonna have to come back for that one. I have no literal idea where it is. Ooh, let's see, can I make it? Oh, it's not a uh, playable space anyway. Although I could make that. It's just not playable space and I'd probably get pushed off. Should be good though. It's so squishy. Hot air is enough to kill me. drop. Is that a mimic? I was a little mimic. I 
find somewhere to basically just chill out. And I'm gonna look this up because these maps are relatively big, and finding these puzzles on the hard, the bigger maps is annoying. We're gonna hang out here for just a sec. Alright, now, where are we again? We are in Sunfang, right? Alright, Sunfang Oasis. Where is this rune switch? My god, have I been running past it this entire time? Or if I just not run to it? It's in a very odd spot. Oh, nope. I just never ran to it. It's in this little weird little corner right here. So we're going to throw down our marker and now let's go do it. I don't know why it's in such an odd place. Yep, there it is. Let's see, where do my puzzle pieces line up? Alright, there's one, there is two, and there's three way over way over there. Are you kidding me? Nope, give give, give me that. I got one. Jump. Make it around this corner, I believe. Come on, come on. There's two. How the hell do I get to three? Get up 
here, maybe, no, up here, yep, oh, will I make it in time, nope, I did not, alright, but I know how to start the puzzle now, and what we're going to do is get it started, take off way before the one that we need even pops up. Okay. Hit this one. Oh my god, there was jump pads for this? Wait, what? The jump pad killed me. My God, there's a jump pad for that, and I would have had it, but the jump pad killed me. Okay. We got this. Third time's a charm. Switch done. And the puzzle deck? And the puzzle table? Why? A newbie. All right, now we're officially done with this map. Until I come back to eventually collect all those small miscellaneous items that will just eat up time. But till then. Moving on, now that we're done here in Sunfang, where be my other rune switch puzzles? Do I have one here in Mount Craw that I need to do? I don't think so. Nope, I have completed the one here in Mount Craw. We're going to move it past there to... I think I did the one here in Weepwild, finally? And I want to say it was, yep, right up there in the gob camp. Did the one in Tangle Drift. i more than sure I got the one here in Warp 2. That one's pretty point and blank. Yep. Also, I just realized there's 21 lucky dice in Warp Tooth alone. Got the one there. Did I get the one here in the Drowned Abyss? I'm gonna say no because there's a lot of stuff I haven't done here. There's even an ancient obelisk that I need to do here, so let's go to the abyss. We're gonna have to deal with a few more coil down there. But I don't think they will be as resistant to poison damage as the ones in Sunfang, but we'll find out. I need to get a better look at that. That looks like it was insane. I don't know which 
Dwarves. Oh yeah, that just spreads dark magic. So many badasses here. Can't wait to throw some spells. So many of them. Only one of them dropped anything, and oh, hello, gelatinous cube. We got jelly. Get cubed. Hey, there's another drop. What'd you drop me? Volatile Diamond Guard. Oh, snap. So, I've been cheating myself on damage. Which says a lot for what happened to Celissa. Speed this up by finding where this is without wasting a lot of time here. Alright, Drowned Abyss. Where is our rune switch? As well as our ancient obelisk. Because we're going to need those. I believe the ancient obelisk here is like a mega crab. But our rune switch. Going to be located right around oh, right around here. So that's where we're going. A Titan Tooth. Just throw my jelly at them and they melt. <laughs> oh God, what's the name of that song? Uh, it's an old song. I can't remember it. It definitely has something to do with jelly. Or I could be like grossly misremembering the lyrics. I don't know. I completely missed my turn, though.
and there is our rune switch. Let's see here. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We're on the move. Don't know how the hell I'm getting the two. Oh, never mind. I think I'm getting the two. Are you serious? Come on. Well, that was almost bad. Well, that takes care of our rune switch here in the abyss. Oh, we have a chest over there, too. Have a little red chest as a treat. Or not. Okay, next stop is going to be our Ancient Obelisk Challenge. Which is in a very just well-defined location of, hey, this is boss fight territory. It's going to be right over here. those just joining in this is not a 100% playthrough I'm just trying to get as many things as I can done and I do want to reach chaos 100 okay so these aren't resistant to poison like the ones back in Sunfang what the heck I don't know same enemy type different resistances Deity gives me increased elemental damage resistance, physical damage resistance, a bump to poison damage. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, triggers poison nova on ward break and 10% movement speed while wards depleted. I'll sell that. And we also have got a universal soldier. Ah, oh, melee damage, but it's got gun damage and graveborn power. <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> Anyone else it's wish to challenge me? Some, there's a mage around here that needs to die. There you are. Crossblades. I needed a new crossblades. We got frost damage on you. Put you on. Put you on right there. See how well you do. Let's see, so we got frost and lightning. Okay. 
Ooh, if I can get uh, soaks, this might be a good reason to use a Tidebreaker with this crossblade alone. Applying a soaked status to an enemy would just give me all of the extra damage to just shred them with this thing. Alright, now, did I take a wrong turn somewhere? I 100% did. Puts down the marker on the map and still goes the wrong way. Now, how do I get up there? I say stupidly knowing for a fact there are stairs over here. Okay, this thing rips. I hate coiled arc mages. <laughs> Mostly because they Spam lightning bolts on your face. And the worst part is, they don't need to see you to be able to target you with that. They just have to be spawned on the map and you have to be in their vicinity and they can just spam lightning at you. It's honestly quite obnoxious. Did it really just use its shield to block the spirit swarm just to throw another javelin at me? This makes me a little nervous going into the higher tiers of the chaos chamber. If you're getting one shot like this all over the place, it's going to be a little terrifying when we get in there. But I still have faith that I will be able to take care of things. I was right. We've got Giga Crab. Oh, wait. With the poison bomb totems out, I can fly soaked. To, it's, it's working the way I wanted to, but it's too slow. It's crabby. Get wrecked. What's our drop? It's a mind room. I 
cast a spell, summon a frost rune under nearby enemy that explodes after a short delay. This effect has a short cooldown. I will try that because it will give me another source of elemental damage to put out. And I can cast spells pretty frequently. As a matter of fact, I just have two charges on this, so I'll be able to do that pretty often. We'll test it out. That takes care of my current list of things to do here in the Drowned Abyss. I've completed the rune switch. I've completed my ancient obelisk. I believe my next stop is going to be the necropolis. But I will check my other areas. I know I've done the one on the wall here. It took me forever to find it, I think, but I did it. Oh wait, no, I haven't done the rune switch on the wall. Oh my. I've done the obelisk, but not the rune switch. Huh. All right, so we're off to the wall. From there, I believe it's the necropolis, and from the necropolis to the pyramid. Let's see, let's check the necropolis. We've got the obelisk done. We need a rune switch there. Then in the fear bid, we have the obelisk and rune switch. And then those all will be done. We'll be done with every obelisk and every rune switch, giving us bonus constitution and I think bonus dexterity. Yeah, let's see. If we can finish all the obelisk, we will get a bonus to our constitution and we only have one more of those left to do and I think that's in the pyramid then we do all the rune switches we will get a bonus to our dexterity we have four more of those to do from there we've got lost marbles and poetry pages the lost marbles will give us extra strength poetry pages will give us more intelligence We'll have all of our campaign challenges done. These are the ones that I really never like focus on because they take forever to do. They always take forever to do. And as much as I really, and I mean really wish that these challenges were universal, they're not. You would have to complete them for every single time you want to do something. I think because I can I keep my loot luck I keep that one every time I start a new playthrough so I could be wrong on that so we'll see but, uh, there's been a lot of running around uh, no, 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 no. let's go and I'm gonna sell the stoking anchor the stoking anchor is really fun if I find another one at a higher rarity, be it primordial or whatever, I will buy it to use it. It's same for the minstrel. These weapons are going to be very good when I have the corrupted plate mail to make the most use out of them. I'm going to hold on to at least one diamond guard. It's going to be this one because it is primordial. Keep my master rune. Little, yeah, master rune. Bad egg and undead pack. Those are finally out of here.
we're testing that out to see about this uh this frost rune that we put under enemies. Sell off some other stuff that I don't need because I've just been filling my backpack. Alright, so black guard. I'm gonna sell it. Keeping that for farming reasons. Keeping you for damage. Let's see, Cape Tides. No. Let's see, Pandemicium. I'll hold on to you. I like it, so I'll hold on to it. The Arcane Bolts, that's gonna go. Sell off a bunch of these cosmetics that I picked up. And my god, did I pick up a lot of them. Okay, so where did I say I was headed to? Nice, new 14 benchmark. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of benchmarks coming up soon for Final Fantasy 14 with Dawn Trail right around the corner now. Ah, uh, that's right, we're headed off to Conarch's Wall. Which will give me, uh, we can head here for two separate reasons. So first thing we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna beat down on the Son of a Witch at least, uh, at least once. Start off with one. We might come back and farm him a little more later. Items. Well, refill of ammo. Then sell my items. Should have a good chunk of cash again. We're at two million. Need to get a lot more. All right. First things first. Get our action skills out. Of course, he's running from me. As he always does. Those cowardly of bosses. Pretty solid damage. I didn't see the frost rune really doing anything there, so I throw it back on our master rune. Put that on instead. Jelly thrown at you. All oh, that, you got me a pin cushion. You troll. Alright. So, we've got the pin cushion. Now we need to find our rune switch, which I'm honestly shocked I have not done here. I spent a lot of time here at Conarch's Wall. It 
don't think I've explored all the map. Which is funny. Orientate our map a certain way. I should be able to decipher this thing. Alright, so that gets put up here, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, it's just an area that I did not go to. So it's around here. gonna stay around like here I gotta figure out how to get there what I know it's part of a side quest I can guarantee that can I jump for it is the question and not die let's find out I can that's the express way down Break open because I'm part cursed. No, fine. Am I going the right way? <laughs> like, this is actually pretty funny. Uh, like, uh, it's a serious question. Am I going the right way? <laughs> okay, I need to get in there, but I think this area is blocked off by a side quest. How do I get in here? There's so many side quests in this game. Alright, we're gonna drop down here. Multiple seers. Good chance for some loot here. We rolled the dice on getting good loot, and we failed. Oh, maybe this way? There's my rune switch. Alright, let's actually pay attention. Okay, there's the first floor. Oh no! Don't do this to me. Don't don't make wind. Don't make wind. These are already stressful enough as they are. Oh my God! Thank you. Come on, come down. All right, room switch done here at Connor's Wall. And I believe that just gets me out of here. Yep, room switch and obelisk done. Off to the necropolis. Alright, now the, the Necropolis here, I've already completed the Obelisk Challenge, as you can see right down there. 
just have to do the rune switch, which I'm assuming is somewhere in this general location. I just need to find it. So we're going to go and travel right here to the top fast travel. Fast travel to the wrong location. I'm in the catacombs. I don't need to be in the catacombs. I need to be back that way. So we're gonna go to the Hall of Heroes. Then we'll fight the nightmare once. Hopefully there is a way for it to let me back up here. Well, actually, I can just fast travel back up. All right, Nightmare, let's go. Get unbelievably dunked on. Oh, oh my. That that was there was the damage. Goodbye. Your loot just distributes so strangely. And it's a frying pan. It's good cash. Alright, so Shadow Flame seems to be my big DPS gun right now. You can use its throw reload and just nuke an enemy. And with it being fire damage, not really much to stand up to it. Especially these bozos. We're not going to sugarcoat things and waste our time dealing with them. Once we need to find a rune switch puzzle and get on with our day. I'm not going to refill my health. I got other ways to do that. I refill my ammo, though. All right, now let's take a look. Where is our puzzle? Where be it? Rune switch puzzle for the necropolis. It's the necropolis is right where I thought it was going to be. So it's down around here. I just got to go find it. I'm going to assume we're going to run this side quest here. 
around here. Yeah. Now, let me out so I can go and look around. I no longer wish to fight with you. I want to leave. It's not gonna let me out that way. It's not gonna make this easy for me, are you, game? I'm gonna go back into this room. I do have to go back into the catacombs. I should've just came to the catacombs to begin with. Grrrr. Don't let them grab you. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the catacombs here, they, uh... They're pretty much a one-way trip. can't escape the catacombs from down here because it's a slide area so I need to go back to the fucking start of the map oh my god I have to go all the way back to that first entry that's fine that's fine I can just speed run my way to my marker and look around in that area, get my rune switch, move out of here, go to the pyramid, and we will be unlocking two more campaign challenges. Once we get those, I think I will pop into the chaos chamber to see if I can get another level. I'm not sure if it's gonna go one at a time now since we're at chaos 50 or if we still get five per run What is chasing me and who has that death wish? Oh, dogfish. Okay, finally made it back to this area. Get your spirits up. Now to find my room switch puzzle. Then I will be leaving this map for the time being. One, there's my first one. Oh, I don't like that. Hiding under the ground like this. All right, there's number two. Don't even see the third one. Oh, you're a good distance away. Oh, how do I get up here quickly? Hmm. 
No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. This is going to fizzle. Alright, I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure that out. So, do I jump up here? Jump here? Come around. Jump here. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Almost done with these. Almost. And you know what? Yeah, I am gonna get all of the marbles and poetry pages. I'm gonna get those off camera. I cannot feasibly see myself just running around trying to find those things. And they're in very convoluted areas at that too. You would think they would be like out and about easy to find, they're not. You, you have to do some serious hunting to find those. Which, I can understand. It makes sense. It's part of the... The power fantasy that they envisioned for the game. It's just not something that I think would be entertaining for you all to watch. Like, while it's cool, yes, it is very cool. Is it entertaining? Not really. And I'm here to provide entertainment. Alright. Now, what's really cool is when you complete this campaign challenges, you get some really funny dialogues with them. Like, when you 100% complete them. Like, I still remember when I can completed all of the lucky dice. Tina was so flabbergasted. It was like, I put those things everywhere. There's no way you should have been able to find them all. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with that. We're off to the pyramid for the final rune switch puzzle and ancient obelisk. And I will never have to do these again. I hope. <laughs> so we're going to go... Where to? Where to? Uh, we're gonna come right down here. Yeah. And facing fear. That's where we're gonna start. So, our rune switch puzzle, our puzzle, is going to be in an area that I completely ran past, and I think I saw it when I was coming through this place on the story run. And as far as our ancient obelisk, I think it's in another spot that I just blasted past without even think giving it a second thought, and it is. I see them both. I know exactly where these are. Yeah, I just ran past here because I wanted to get to the Dragon Lord as quickly as humanly possible. And we got a mole man for 14 million gold. And it's not even the greatest of launchers in the game. smoke. If y'all want the smoke, I can throw some smoke. I quite literally just ran past this thing. Alright, where are they? Oh, oh no. I don't see now when one shows up and I just straight up don't see it, that's a problem. Because I'm going to waste 
immeasurable amounts of time trying to find out where it is in the first place and how to get over there. Like this one, complete restart already. I can was not paying attention to where those things were spawning, so I'm just gonna go and wait at the rune switch for it to time out so I can start it over. That one's on me. I should have been looking in the right direction. I was not. Okay. Let's try this again. So I know the first one spawning over here. Alright, I think I see them all. I do. Let's do this. There's number one. Number two is in my sights. that we do this where's number two where's number three number three is so far away that's not possible if I make this it is going to be at the last second I think that's every single shrine. Uh, I think that's every single one. Am I still missing one? Where am I missing one? I'm at 11 of 12. Where could this be? Oh no. All right, I gotta look around. I have to look around. Where? What map did I not do one on? Is this Shattergrave? I think it's Shattergrave. No, Shattergrave doesn't have one. Okay, so I did Mount Craw. I know for a fact I did Mount Craw. Shattergrave does not have one. Does Queen's Gate have one? I did the one in Queen's Gate. Wheat Wild. You should have one, and I believe I did it. Yeah, did that one. Also, I've almost done, like, 100%ing this game on this character, at least. Uh, Tangle Drift. I believe I've done yours. Okay, I did the one here on Tangle Drift. Cracked Mass. You should have one. Alright. Crack Mass is done. There's no way there's one here in Snoring Valley. That's what I thought. No Dreamvale doesn't have one. The one in Bright Hoof. Literally the one that I just completely ignored is the last one. You know what? That's fine. That's perfectly fine that it's in Bright Hoof because I'm going there after I finish up Beating up the Dragon Lord, at least one run on that. Getting this last Ancient Obelisk down, and yeah. So, next up on my list is my Ancient Obelisk, which is, oh, right there. <laughs> that works perfectly for me. Now then. 
how these oath breakers and seers come get destroyed. I cast loot goblin. Your health shields and armor mean nothing to me. Jump down here. We get our last ancient obelisk. This obelisk will summon the champion of the undead. Beware his blade, sharp it on the wailing skulls of the damned. They wail like this. Ah, <laughs> Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina's so goofy. Alright, the final obelisk. It's the final obelisk. I'm going to destroy literally everyone inside here. This will not be a fair fight. And do I care? No. I worked for this badassery. Get destroyed like the rest of them. That shall cleave the place of night and snow. All right, that puts us at myth rank three forty. mistaken that is every ancient obelisk completed and we have a 10% boost to our constitution now then let's go and give our friend the dragon lord a nice little slap down before we head off to go and Complete the final rune switch. Oh, that's right. There's a lost marble down here that's a chore One of my marbles is near. Smashed it and released and my memory. The thing about lost marbles, you have to break them using melee. You cannot shoot them. So when you see that you found one on your map, just gotta make your way to it and give it an old love tap. Without doing that. You can avoid doing that. You're doing much better than me. Ooh, that was so close. That was so close.
Okay. Oh, I was so close to me dying again. Alright. We can ignore everyone as we run to the Dragon Lord unless we go down. I wish this guy had a fast travel at his actual spawn location. Yes, that would make farming for this armor easy. Do I mind running through this map? No, because it is one of the smallest ones in the game. I'm just stating preference. Honestly, I think I just finished up everything here on this map. Nope, there's still a Lost Marvel and a Fortune page left. So, I'll be back here eventually. Off camera, finish those things up. Smack you in your donk. I'm gonna try using Shadow Flame on you. That should hurt you a lot. Okay, so it is in fact doing damage. What? What rarity is this? It's primordial. Okay. I might need to throw my other, yeah, throw this back on for damage, and I will throw this back on for damage, at least to see how this goes. Okay, yeah, it's a big difference in damage there. So getting more points in Contagion plays a big role. Actually, it might not even be contagion. Yeah, hold on, let's throw my other one back on. Because if this does just about the same amount of damage, if not more, it's way more. So it's not the contagion, it's the necklace. Got it.
Dude, you are about to get the most. To put it politely, you about to get violated. Nothing. Doubt it's the drop that I want, but it's a drop. So we'll take a look at it. And we're going back to Bright Hoof. Yeah, it's not for me. I can see that already. Is it even a corrupted plate mail? <laughs> no, it's a deathless. My guy, my guy, my guy. Eventually, I will get that corrupted plate mail and I will be a walking deity all right so now we return to bright hoof This room switch puzzle is on a roof. I don't know what roof, but it's on a roof. Izzy's. That's where I need to go. Uh, what made me just recall the fact that I have to go to her upstairs. But yeah. So you come here to Izzy's. This will be a way to get upstairs in here. Eh, yeah, you're wrecked, troll. Here it is. Take the stairs. Um, the stairs, you go from here to here. Now, I could be 100% wrong in this location. Oh, but nope, there's a lost marble. We can find those. Okay, so we go around. Um, okay, another set of stairs. Go up some more, and up some more. There it is. The final rune switch. Now, how the hell do I do this one? Alright, there's one, there's two, there's number three. Now, here we go. Boom, done. Got it. There you are. 
No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go. Rune switch puzzles are all complete. Alright, every rune switch puzzle, every ancient obelisk has been completed. Those are all done. And from what Tina just stated, those are permanent boosts to my stats. I never have to do that again. <laughs> oh, that's going to feel so great going into another character. But, so, the only things left for me to do are to complete the... Lost Marbles, which I'm at 7 out of the 24, and then the Poetry Pages at 7 at 25. So once those are done, I will have every buff that this game has to offer. So let's go and take a look at things here. That extra 10%, 10%, that's 82% status damage. That is so strong. And we're at 50k on loot luck. How high can I get that? Let's, let's min max it. So if I can get two rings that give loot luck, a, I have something here that gives me a ton of loot luck actually. So that's 40%. And I can get two rings that can roll with loot luck rolls on them, which will bring my loot luck up into at least 80 to 90k. So that would make farming really good. Um, so we're going to take this Brad luck that I currently have on, and I'm going to run at the chance for the last little bit that we have and see about getting a new cannonballer or a new sword explosion hopefully getting a sword explosion in dark magic or poison damage would be ideal A cannonballer of any element would be fantastic. As long as it's not an, a non-elemental cannonballer, it is going to be a good cannonballer. So, oh, I already messed up. I came down here with bulb totals instead of plague storm. change that now for the next run because I don't see the chance being that merciful in giving me the any of the drops that I want on the first run right, and the chance eats jelly and dies or not there you go the chance down And just like I called it, I was not going to get a drop on first run. The chance is not that merciful. These little hits to my stats 
Well, it's my health and shield. It's not that big. It'll be a big deal when I'm just boss farming like this. Okay, so a random drop from that guy. Diamond gauntlets, not anywhere near the classes that I'm playing. Let's see, what can we do here? As far as getting more damage on the chance. Oh, this is ascendant. This might this might be the gun to do it. Our first piece of ascendant gear also. off a bunch of things that I don't need. I think I'm going to take off the gelatinous cube. While it is really good on its elemental chance, its elemental damage, not as high as the primordial saw blades that we have. Thirty-eight, thirty-two over thirty-eight, thirty-two. This is the almost the exact same, but this one has more damage, and it has more status that status damage and spell damage on this one. So, better roll overall. Now we should be able to do some big hurt on the chance. We start throwing with the saw blades on the soon as we come down. that big pain. Yeah, peg leg looks like. Yep, yeah, yeah, peg leg. Give it a few more runs. Give it a few more runs before we wrap up for the evening. a calamity. You're not my spell. Alright, come back into the rings.
spell. It's a volatile frozen orb. Actually, it's going to start increased damage dealt. Always like having a frozen orb on hand. It's a pretty decent spell. It's not the greatest for damage in a status build like I'm using myself, but on a spell shot build, it does crazy things because you can spam it left and right and you can get a lot of buffs to your spell damage with the spell shot. Sword. There it is. Come on, I'm using a launcher on you, Lachan. Now give me a cannonball. Or not. Just laugh in my face, why don't you? I didn't just use the most expensive ammo in the game. Oh my, the chance. What's, what's going on with you, my guy? Why are you dying so fast? Just goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, that deserves one more. Minimum one. Sigil with a frost burn. I want to experiment with sigils to see how well they do because I heard from what I'm hearing, sigil spells can increase my status chance and status damage. But those require me to stand in one spot, which I'm not sure how that's going to work. Now, if it's something like if I do have to stand in one spot and I can use a bottle like using plague storm or something like that, I can see if it's viable. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I'm actually gonna die here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, the chance is pretty beefy on that one. Uh don't know what that was about. Ah, that's a good stuff. Like he just wasn't.
wasn't taking status damage there. But also, it doesn't help this. My white rider here is only at volatile state, not primordial or anything like that. And its status chance is actually pretty low at 11%. Like it's the lowest status damage, status percent that I have on my weapons right now. But the reason why it's so strong is because that 11% is on a continuous stream of DPS. Chance. No one said you could be me off in the Matrix and dodge a rocket. There's no way this does a lot of damage, right? There's no way that should be doing as much damage as it is, right? Cannonballer out of it. Oh, please be elemental. Why? Oh, and it's ascendant. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. But that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up, everyone. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you'd like to hang out on the Starship and catch these streams live, I stream them over at twitch.tv slash alpharemo. You can find me there at my new time of Monday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. If you'd like to hang out on the Starship while I'm not online, feel free to join the Discord. Link's down below. It's free to join, and I would love to have you. That all being said, I'll see you all in the next one. See you in the stars.